Time for our Central Ozarks Medical Center, hometown hero. Yeah. It's a special one to me this week. Just inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame, longtime Missouri head coach Gary Pinkle, and uh, pretty impressive. Uh, I want to run through his timeline now. Wow. He is on the cover of the newest edition edition of LO Profile. Check that out right there on newsstands now. You see him on the back. Congratulations from Alley Cats. But listen, you know how much I love this oh, guy. Oh, yeah. This, I mean, you wearing T-shirts. Whenever you're in the same room with Coach Pinkle, it's like, Coach Pinkle! You yeah. Know I mean, it's greatness, man. I mean, he <laughs> was somebody growing up that was such a huge part of my childhood from like ages 13 until even today. So I want to go just through his timeline. LO Profile did a great job. Uh, on this. So he's born in 1952 in Akron, Ohio, graduated from Kenmore High School, where he ended up going to college at Kent State University, played tight end under, as you know, head coach Don James. Yep. He was an all Mid America Conference tight end in 72 73, earned his bachelor's degree from Kent State the next year. He would stay there uh, as an, a graduate assistant until being a part time assistant at the University of Washington in 76 and 77. 77 eight Bowling Green, all the way up back to Washington where he spent time as the receivers coach. Eventually, 84 to 90, was promoted to their offensive coordinator under Don James, and then in 91 got his first head coaching gig at the University of Toledo with the Rockets. In that tenure, in those 10 years, he was inducted into the Kenmore High School Hall of Fame in 95. I don't know anyone who's in more Hall of Fame than know. Coach Pinkle. <laughs> uh, and had a lot of success with Toledo, Kent State. I mean, he's still the all-time winningest coach at three universities, it's correct? It's crazy. It's amazing. One yeah. of only two coaches that's ever done that, I believe. Um, in 97, inducted into the Kent State Athletic Hall of Fame. Yep. And then, of course, the best day in Mizzou history. In 2001, he was announced as the head football coach for the Missouri Tigers. Uh, a lot of success in 2003, broke the 24-year losing streak to Nebraska, yep. uh, winning 41-24. Uh, made the Independence Bowl in 03 and again in 05. 2007 to 2011, probably the most successful run in any Mizzou football. Yep. We defeat KU in the Border War, two Cotton Bowl championships. In 07, the Big 12 North, Big 12 Coach of the Year, Field Turf National Coach of the Year, finalist for Robinson, Bryant, and Munger Award. 08 Cotton Bowl champions over Arkansas. The list goes on and on all the way up to Mizzou going to the SEC, which only happened because of Coach Gary Pinkle. And that was in 2012. Didn't take him long. 2013 and 14 won the SEC East, took him to the SEC championship game, um, named Mizzou's coach. He was the winningest coach in Mizzou history with 102 wins. Of course, he's been inducted in the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame recently, the College Football Coaches Hall of Fame. He's been recognized by essentially everybody in the state of Missouri, including our governor at the Capitol. Uh, his foundation, the GP Made Foundation, is making a world of difference in so many lives. And now that he is a Lake resident, we thought it was only fitting to celebrate his College Football Coaches Hall of Fame induction that we honor Coach Gary Pinkle as this week's hometown hero again incredible story put together his timeline in the latest edition of LO Profile. It's sophisticated, it's edgy, it's bold, it's LO Profile. Big kudos and shout out to Coach Gary Pinkle yeah. for being this week's hometown hero.